features the female lead named Margaret and her date, Tyler, coming to a fancy restaurant on an island. There are 12 guests who are celebrities, critics, and wealthy couples who come for dinner. The waiters and chefs were dedicated to giving the guests a unique dining experience, making them feel as if they were enjoying a work of art and not a meal. The first course was seaweed and scallops. The chef gave it a special meaning through its presentation. Tyler was addicted to this, almost to the point of worship and obsession. However, Margaret herself did not like it. She was different from these people, just an ordinary girl. The second course was supposed to be bread, but the chef only served the ingredients to the guests. They didn't believe him at first, but later found out that he was serious. A food critic thought that the cheese in the ingredients was bad. The head chef heard this and immediately gave her a large bowl to prove that this was the original appearance of the food. At that time, there were three male guests who wanted bread. They all worked for the restaurant's investors and thought they could get special privileges, but they were denied. The waitress took the opportunity to customize aprons for the guests and whispered, but Margaret couldn't eat at all. The head chef realized that she didn't touch her food and asked her why. She immediately said that there was nothing in the food. However, the head chef said that this was part of the menu design. The third dish was introduced by the current head chef, and the inspiration for this dish came from his childhood experience. His father was a drunkard and wanted to hurt his mother after drinking, so he pierced his father's thigh with scissors. Each guest was also presented with a meal, with a laser-printed photo or text. Tyler's meal was engraved with a secretly taken photo of the dish. The meals of the three men, however, showed records of their company's fraudulent activities, and a rich man's meal had a picture of him and his girlfriend together, and that woman was Margaret. Margaret wants to return the meal, but is stopped by Tyler, making her leave her seat. She walks to the silver door, but is stopped by a waitress, who takes her to the bathroom. While smoking in the bathroom, Margaret sees someone delivering a pair of wings outside the window. Just then, the chef also arrived in the bathroom, asking why she wasn't eating. Margaret simply said that she wasn't hungry. When the chef learned Margaret's real name, he said that she shouldn't have appeared at the fourth course. The waiter put the tablecloth and condiments on the floor. The assistant chef created the dish, when everyone was confused, the assistant chef committed suicide in front of everyone. The chef explained that all this was part of the menu. After cleaning up the body, everyone started serving the dish. The dish consisted of grilled fish slices, vegetables, and braised meat. Tyler ate heartily, and one table of guests wanted to leave but was stopped by the waiter. On top of that, he was also slashed with one of his fingers cut off. The crowd panicked but were intimidated by the restaurant and did not dare to leave directly. At this moment, the chef called Margaret and asked her again who she was because she was someone who was not expected to be here. The chef let her decide whether to die with the staff or the guests. Of course, whatever she chose, the result would put Margaret back in her place. Looking at the indifferent Tyler, she felt very desperate. One of them took a stool, trying to break the glass to escape, but it turned out to be bulletproof glass. Before serving the fifth course, the chef allowed everyone to ask questions. Someone asked what was going on. The chef asked the guests to think of themselves as part of the raw materials, all for the purpose of tasting themselves. He criticized the harshness and arrogance of food critics, which caused many restaurants to go bankrupt and lose their jobs, and then brought a big pot of cheese soup. He accused the rich couple of not appreciating food at all. They had come to his restaurant but couldn't name a single dish they had eaten. He was tired of these hypocritical and arrogant people, and then brought out the fifth dish. His investor was hung with angel wings in the air because he wanted to fire the staff. So now he can only be a fallen angel. Chef, asked Margaret to come to his office. He sees that Margaret is not part of the group of guests and she has to join them. It turns out that Margaret is providing a service, one of her customers is the husband of a wealthy couple. As they exit the room, the sixth course begins. This course is provided by Chef Catherine, who is inspired by her past experiences. The chef raped Catherine and was violent at work. She then stabbed the chef. The chef announced that they were giving male guests a chance to escape. They could run for 45 seconds first and then the staff would start chasing them while the women were invited into the restaurant to enjoy the meal. During the meal, everyone learned that they would all die in the end which was also part of the menu. And the person who made this proposal was the chef herself. A rich woman asks about the relationship between Margaret and Tyler. Margaret admits that her real name is not Margaret, but Elaine. But before she can finish speaking, the men return and no one can escape. At this point, the chef asks Tyler why he brought Margaret here. It turns out that the invitation he sent out earlier clearly states that this will be the best menu ever. But in the end, everyone will die. 
Tyler originally wanted to take his ex-girlfriend to the restaurant for a date, but they broke up, and since the restaurant does not provide single seating, he hired Margaret, who has no idea that it is a death sentence. She is very angry about this. The chef mentions Tyler's love for food and invites him to become a chef, and forces him to come to the kitchen to cook. Tyler chopped the vegetables and sautéed the ingredients in the pot in a hurry. The chef tasted it and called it garbage. Then he whispers a few words in his ear and Tyler takes off his apron and leaves. The chef called Margaret to the back kitchen, because the waitress forgot to take out the dessert barrel, so he hoped Margaret could help. Before leaving, she saw Tyler who had committed suicide by hanging himself, finding a knife in a room. She returned to the restaurant earlier to enter the room, but was discovered by the female waitress. She revealed that she did not like Margaret being a member of their group, and also did not want Margaret to take her place. The two women start arguing and during the process, the waitress mentions that the chef never told her about the keg and at that moment, Margaret stabs her in the neck with a knife. She took the key and entered the chef's private room, where she saw many reports about him in a radio. At that time, the chef was celebrating the birthday of one of his customers. While pushing a barrel, she walked in and the sound of boats could be heard outside. It turned out that Margaret had called for help with the radio, and the waiters were busy trying to make everything look like nothing had happened. The police enter and ask if anyone needs help, but none of the customers dare to speak up. The police realize that one of the customers is a big star and ask for an autograph. A celebrity wrote a request for help on paper and the police suspected something was wrong and took control of the scene with his gun. But to everyone's surprise, the gun he had was just a lighter and the whole thing was part of the chef's plan. The celebrity was disappointed. After thinking for a long time, Margaret stood up and said that she didn't like the chef's food and returned everything. Criticizing the lack of love and passion in the dishes, she wanted a cheeseburger and fries. The chef agreed and made a burger for her. After two bites, she felt full and left. At dessert, the waiters sprinkled spices on the table and brought cotton candy jackets and chocolate hats for everyone. This was dessert. Staff add cotton candy and chocolate to the middle of cookies and roast them in fire. The chef grabbed a piece of charcoal from the fireplace and threw it on the ground. The restaurant instantly caught fire and everything was consumed by the flames. Margaret was the only person who left the island. She ate a packed hamburger and watched the restaurant turn to ashes. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe. Because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. What movie do you want next? Just comment below. Have a nice day.